again. And I was gonna say, with another first listen review, which is kind of true, uh, this is a first listen review of a, song, of a, a CD that came out back in 2008. And uh, funny story, I'm gonna babble. And that's what I do, so nobody should be surprised by that. But I did a review of the new Kiss and Dynamite album here, I don't know, a month or so ago. And I got a comment, and I believe the name, if I remember correctly, it was uh, Ivory Elverson. And they gave me a whole bunch of information about this band and let me know that they started out as a band called the uh, Blues Kids when they were like 10 years old. And, uh, you know, they did one album or EP, I believe it was, under that name. And then they changed their name, maybe a couple members, and changed their name to Kiss and Dynamite. And they've been releasing albums ever since. Gave me a whole bunch of recommendations and styles of music. And then at the very end of it said, it'd be really cool if you did a review of, you know, of the stuff you went back and listened to. And I say all the time that I do this channel because it's fun. I like, you know, to recommend music to people that I like. I like to review stuff, you know, just to go over and maybe give people an idea of what I think of stuff. And they can take that whatever, you know, however they want and do whatever they want with that information. Uh, but mainly the reason I started doing this was to recommend music to people that I liked, I think maybe should, you know, give a listen. And I always say that I'd like to hear your comments because I go back and want to hear what people say and get music myself. And that's not a lie because there's been a few people that have commented on stuff and given me some great recommendations. And this was a great one. And I went back and I, I, I've already gotten like five of these CDs already. And uh, so I started and went right to the very beginning and I went uh, and listened to their album called Steel of Swabia, or Swabia, I think it was Swabia. Um, I know, I just listened to this too. I just actually just got done listening to this again. And, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna go back and listen to the other ones too. I've, uh, I can't remember which other ones I got here, but uh, I started with this one. And uh, I just figured to go right to the beginning and I thought it was a great idea to go back and do a, a review of what I thought of it. So here I am, this one's for you. Um, and hopefully, you know, I didn't. In this first video I did of Kiss and Dynamite didn't get a whole lot of views either. So I'm doing this purely out of fun. I mean, I really do. I'm not lying when I say I do this for fun. If people get something out of it, that's awesome. But you know, this is fun, and this album was fun. So I mean, fun is the key word today. Somebody's keeping, you know, doing a drinking game, counting how many times I say fun. This would be a great video to do that for because you'd probably be half in the bag right about now. And. Uh, it starts with a song called Let's Get Freaky, uh, and it kicks in, it's pretty cool. Um, the, the person who recommended this said uh, that this one's more metal. Um, I hear that a little bit, but I can still hear where they are now. They didn't lose touch with what they started with. And I did, they actually left a link in the, uh, the comment there for the Blues Kids. I went and listened to that too. That was uh, interesting. I was actually having trouble finding the, uh, that EP to buy it. I haven't found it to buy it yet. Um, but I did check out that video. And uh, man, that dude could sing <laughs> right from the get-go. Uh, Johannes Brown is his name. I, th I believe it's his brother, Andre Brown on guitar. And on this one is Jim Mueller on guitar, Stefan Hale on bass, and Andreas Schnitzer on drums. And uh, that song's a fun song. It kicks in and it's pretty much, um, you know, it got, has some of that same style as the their newer album here uh, did. And I thought that was a pretty good start. The production on it, I thought was better than I expected. It's still, you could tell that was early, you know, on in the career, probably the, how whatever record label this was, EMI, I guess it's EMI Germany. Uh, you know, it's, the record labels don't do what they used to do. They used to dump all kinds of money in bands to try to promote them. And nowadays, it's like, you know, they spend as little as they possibly can and the bands have to prove themselves. So it's good to see that this band did that because you can tell that they, you know, the production isn't like it is now on their more recent album. So uh, not that it's bad. It's actually still pretty good, a lot better than I expected. Uh, that's, so that's what it kicked off with. And it, Out in the Rain was also a pretty, you know, the next song here was pretty good. Uh, the one thing I did notice is that he, and this is not a slam at all. You just hear the youth in his voice. It sounds like a young band, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, when I was back, you know, I was first starting, and we were, I was listening, this is the stuff, I listened to stuff that was, you know, of other bands that were my age or maybe a little bit older. I mean, but I, I also listened to bands that were like way older than me too. So it's not like I, um, 
can't relate to what to, you know where they were at this point in time because I was in a band when I was really young playing stuff. So it was kind of this band was actually a lot better than any of the bands I was in at that age though. And then it starts kicking in. Still, the title song here is still Swabia or Swabia. I actually can't remember what they said in that now, but um, that's where it starts sounding a little bit more metal. Uh, it was uh, you know. I was digging that one. It's pretty. That one was pretty cool. Uh, and then you know, there's a couple songs here. Against the World, I think was supposed to be a more like a ballady type thing. And then My Religion was a pretty good song too. They were both kind of. That one was kind of rocking. And then there it kicks in the track number six, only the good die young. And that one had a cool, catchy chorus. Um, couldn't really understand what he was saying. There's a little bit of an accent, you know, or a, you know, they're a German band, so. I get it. It's hard to like sing in a different language. I couldn't even imagine doing it. It was, it was funny. I actually did notice here. Um, I can't remember which song it was. I think it was the title track. It was kind of reminding me of uh, the band Loudness and how they like phrased things. And uh, you know, because it's not their main language, so you know they were they would phrase things a little differently than you know somebody who spoke English would and I kind of noticed that in that one not that it's bad at all but it actually kind of made me think back of Loudness Loudness is actually one of the first bands I actually saw in concert they uh, opened up for Motley Crue I believe it was on the Theater Pain Tour and I got to see them back then so kind of you know this band here was making me think of other things that I had done, you know, back in my youth. So it's always a good sign. And, uh, you know, then we go through Zombie and Welcome to the Jungle, which was kind of funny that both of those are, tra you know, titles of other songs that are very popular. Not cover songs at all. This is the original stuff. They're both pretty cool. And then track number nine uh, kicked in, and it's called Heart Attack. And that also had a really catchy sing-along memorable chorus to it, cool guitar riffs, stuff going on. These guys could really play. I mean, there was no slacking on this. I mean, musicianship was top notch, I can't lie. I was actually really impressed. Knowing how young they were at this point and playing this good, it's like, I was, I'm was. i envious now <laughs> of what I was back then. Uh, and then a couple more cool songs. Live For Me starts with a you know calm little guitar intro thing. Actually, there's a couple other ones that started with a couple you know, more chill guitar intros and then kicked in. Uh, this was also one that did that. I thought it was going to be another ballad, but it actually kind of kicked in a little more rocking. And uh, I think it was supposed to be a power ballad, but it, a little bit more rocking than a regular power ballad. And then there's uh, Ready Steady Thunder was cool, another little quick fun song. And it ends with a song called I Hate Hip Hop. And uh, that song was fun. Um, I don't want to say I hate hip hop. I don't like hip hop, so I could relate. But the catchphrase was, I need rock. And I do have to agree with that one. I need rock. These guys have several more albums for me to listen to. And uh, from what I understand, they all rock pretty good. I did have a lot of comments on that last video I did that saying, that, that, saying, that said, uh, you know, how good these guys were. And they were not lying. The first CD here that I listened to right from the start was pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to hear the rest of these. It's one of those things I, I wish I could listen to like all at once, but you just can't do that. So I have uh, several hours in front of me here now that I'm looking forward to listening to the rest of this stuff. So anyway, thank you for the recommendations, guys. And I thought this was a great idea to review this one. So that was fun. Uh, new, new music is only, I can't remember where I heard this, but somebody said new music is only music that you have not heard yet. So this was new music for me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if, as always, feel free to comment. Tell me anything else you guys want to say about this, anything I might have missed that you guys like about this album or maybe dislike. I don't know what that would be, but, you know, comment, whatever. And uh, like, share, and subscribe to keep this music alive because I really can't wait to hear you know more and more from these guys. They're really good. I, I love finding bands. I, I want to say new bands, but it's new to me. So like I just said, anything I haven't heard is new. So on that note, I'm going to say see ya, and until next time, see ya.